You know, there were times when I first started uh, teaching the Bible that I made a big mistake, which was trying to teach out of some sort of intellectual wisdom, and it really got me in trouble. So I want to tell you how not to do that. And when I first started uh, teaching, well, of course, I, I happen to have a, a degree from Harvard in ancient literatures, and I have another degree in, uh, in rabbinic studies. And uh, when I began to teach, there was a temptation that I wanted to show different things from the Bible and in the roots. And, and uh, I remember one time uh, I shared a message and I planned out all this uh, symbolism and the meaning of it. And I thought it was pretty good. And uh, I was walking uh, out of the meeting and I was on the way to the, the car and I felt like uh, the Holy Spirit almost like touched me on the shoulder and said, uh, well, Asher, that was a really brilliant message. And I just stopped in my tracks and said, uh-oh, what? I don't like what's coming next. And I felt the Holy Spirit tell me, look, you need to make a choice right now. You can either teach out of uh, your own uh, intellect and your own uh, intellectual pride, or you can teach something that's coming from the wisdom of God from your heart that will touch and build up people. And it was, it was a scary warning for the Lord told me, Luke, you make that decision now one way or the other and don't turn back on it. So I learned at that point that, that there's a, a, a subtle a temptation. I mean, people that have a gift to be able to teach, well, then obviously, it's like somebody has a gift to lead worship, he can sing. But if you have a gift to teach, then you obviously had the ability to formulate ideas and so on. Well, but we have to watch out for that because that can be a real danger. And you begin to uh, think that doing something intellectually sharp is an anointing of the Holy Spirit, and it's not. And we get fascinated by our own thoughts, the, own, the sound of our voices, and how we can impress people is super, super dangerous. And, you know, even the Apostle Paul, who was, so, was such a genius, he said, look, I teach simply on purpose because I'm not here to touch you with human wisdom. I'm here to touch you with the love of God and the wisdom of God. I'm here to make a change in your heart. So it, it sounds obvious and everybody would say, oh yeah, but I, and of course I would have said that too, but it's a creeping little temptation. To say, what is the real motivation of my saying something? Is it to impress somebody else of how I can teach and what I know and my, some sort of intellectual pride? Or is it really, to want to touch the heart and bless the people that are there and uh, show them the love of God, in which case, to, to get to somebody else's heart, you want to make it simple. So I just want to give you that little piece of advice. It, watch out for the temptation of, of intellectual pride and stay on a level where you're looking to, to bless people and to build them up in spirit, soul, and body, and that's a good rule. Keep it simple and touch people's hearts. My name is Cody Archer, and I'm a part of the Revive Israel team. And I hope you're enjoying this series on learning from my mistakes. If you've not yet subscribed to our videos, I wanna encourage you right up here, click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and also for more great content, you can start with watching more videos right here. I've tried to impose my vision on people who were not in agreement with it or passionate about that vision, and try as I might, 